Dear soldier, <laughs> yeah. Top top of the morning to you, YouTube. It's your buttery voice host, oh. LFT Uzma, which means today is Friday and podcast day. Thank you guys for joining. And speaking of joining, joined by me as always is this guy. Oh, he tumbles. And millennial Mike. Mike, welcome back, oh, buddy. We missed you. you last week. Was it just last week, or did I miss one before? That? I think it was just. I think week. it was just last week. Oh, that's right, because we didn't, we didn't even film one. Yeah. The week before that. So. Yeah, we didn't do one. That's right, we didn't do the one one the week before that. Um. But yeah, so here we are, and uh, we've got a couple things, I guess, to talk about. A couple. Tumbles, you want to field this first one with your... Uh... Oh, we got a screenshot of it, because I just don't remember. Oh. Is this all right? I feel like... What? I feel like my face should be more in it, but I like this face of you guys, because I feel like it's more natural. Yeah, whatever you want. We know how beautiful you are. This is my right ear reveal. Your right ear reveal. Oh my Epic. god. <laughs> just, the sad thing is Mike does not have a left ear. No. Left ear reveal right. at 5 million subs. <laughs> Slappers. Psh. Just rip off Davey 504 the whole podcast. <laughs> so I already asked Hefty and he didn't know which was. Do you know who uh, Barbara Corcoran from Shark Tank is. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, the... Yeah. Yep. She got scammed out of $400,000. Alright, how so? So, <clears throat> it was, uh... It was, like, some department that... You know, is like... That, that she runs, obviously. And they received an email saying, Hey, I need all the tax information for this revenue thing that they were doing. And they thought that they're, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with the website or the, uh, the the email address that sent it to them. So they literally send the entire bank info over over an email to an email they've never even heard of. And she got scanned that at $400,000. You know, somebody on that other side is like, yes, yes. Dude, you know she, someone on the other side is like, what a dumbass. <laughs> yup, somebody got paid off of that. Yeah, somebody got paid off of that. That's too bad. And then my other one. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I was still kind of like, how the how the hell did this happen? Okay. So, the coronavirus or the kung flu. Um, it it's not it's not airborne, right? Not yeah, airborne. pretty sure it's airborne, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I haven't died yet, so. You have not died. That's true. That's, that's unfortunate. The- <laughs> <laughs> Well, we all have it, so, you know. So, there was a dog in Japan, or wherever the fuck this thing came out of. Wherever. China. China. Way to do your research, buddy. <laughs> you know, only the best. <laughs> only, yeah, we we do nominal research here on Half TV to bring you whatever kind of news we Extremely can scrape together. Extremely nominal. <laughs> it's like we um, just read the headlines and we're like, yeah, let's make it up. The rest of the there world. was a dog who got the coronavirus, weekly tested positive for it, as the, as the thing said. But it said that it was transpired via the mouth and the butt. It got the coronavirus through the butt? Yeah. Well, that and the mouth. Ass to mouth doggy style? I just, I'm just it's... kind of wondering, I'm like, um, please tell me how the fuck did that get there? I'd almost rather not know. <laughs> right? I'd rather not know, but 
it kind of makes you think you're just like Jesus Christ that's that's terrifying but they're they're hoping for uh, more tests to come through is the dog wearing a little doggy face mask because that would be <laughs> fucking adorbs probably I wouldn't be surprised <sighs> Lucky dog. I want to wear one of those fashionable face masks. It seems to be all the rage these bubble. days. Yeah. They have him in a bubble. He's bubble puppers. Like a little bubble hamster puppers. ball. Oh, he's like. <laughs> I'm a sad puppers. Um. <laughs> the only thing, thing that came to my mind was this. Well, those people in China, since they're all like quarantined out, they must be getting pretty damn lonely. <laughs> Maybe. They're like, come here, Fido. Fido's like, whoa, uh oh. oh but man. that was that was that was pretty much all what I had. That was um, yeah, that was that was four hundred thousand dollars and some fucking bot coronavirus. All right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Top that. Well, here's one that's a little bit more lighthearted. This comes from CNN, and it says a 22 year old grocery store bagger won seventy million dollars from a lottery ticket he bought at work. Oh yeah. And this is in uh, this is in Quebec. Uh, just won the biggest jackpot in Quebec's history after he purchased a ticket from the store where he works. He was a bagger at the IGA Mart in the Saint Ramal district of Levis, Quebec City. I'm American, so I just butchered the shit out of that. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy. He's he's, uh, he's sharing it with like seven family members. It's like ten million dollars a pop. They're like you know a little under. It's, that's incredible, I man. I thought he'd invest all of it in like. Curling and stuff. Well, the, the in curling, he's gonna invest it all in curling. Yeah, he's gonna, like not? buy a curling team and then some. Exactly. Um, but the thing, like, first of all, that's really cool. <laughs> that kid's never gonna have to work in his life again. Seventy million dollars, dude. That even sharing, dude, ten million dollars. Good for him. That that's good to see. And my thing was, I was like, wait, I, I didn't think you could buy lottery tickets at where you worked. At least not when you're on the clock. I know that was the case, at least here in the States. It doesn't say if he bought it on the clock or not, but... I would but, assume that it wasn't on the clock. Yeah, all right, well, we'll go with that. Well, good for you. What the fuck was his name? Gregory? Good for you, Greg. Go, Greg. Go, Greg. Uh, another one I saw that was really interesting. Um, not really interesting, but... Uh, funny. Gotta find it again here. While I'm looking for that, have you guys seen the, uh, have you guys seen the, uh, the, uh, clip online of the chick that is on Canadian Family Feud and just, like, blows, no. blows the whole thing? Alright, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys this real quick and I'm gonna cut this out, so I'm gonna show it and then we'll go right back to it. What? <laughs> so, okay, so for everybody who who missed out on that and, what and just cut idiot. to this, so basically what had happened? <laughs> there was this, there was this just bin bat <laughs> that was on a Canadian Family Feud, and it was like a ten thousand dollar question was on the line, and whoever answered first got the ten thousand dollars. So the girl walks up, and there's a dude on the other side, and the announcer asks that you know the question is what is Popeye's favorite food. Before he can get food out, the chick slams down on the buzzer and just goes, chicken! Like that, like with this smug, like just, I did it, this like squirmy kind of dance. Her family is like, what the actual fuck? And like, the, 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 the host just puts his head down and just, obviously it's spinach. And it was just like, my God, you know, you are so dumb. You are so dumb. And uh, I showed two of the other night, and he brought up a very interesting point. He's like, I wonder what it's like to go through life being that stupid. And I was like, it's honestly probably pretty, pretty blissful. You just are so dumb and unaware of well, in, anything. In her defense, it's probably a little nerve-wracking being on TV, and you hear Popeyes, and then she just immediately thought chicken, and then just said that. So I'll, I'll defend her. You're going to defend her? I'll defend it. I'm not saying that she's smart or anything, and uh, she kind of, you know, was a little too uh, enthusiastic about the answer, but it's like, I get where the answer came from, is just what I'm saying. Hmm. That is fascinating. Can I unsnap you? No. Uh, yeah, I so... I know where the answer's coming from. Well, that's very nice of you to take her side. 
because I was just, I just was like, you are absolutely the dumbest person I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Um, yep. <laughs> but going, oh, oh, it's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so going back to that other story, though, uh, that involves uh, Walt Disney World. <laughs> Chicken. Oh, my Chicken. God. Chicken. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. That goes $10,000. And I can just see, like, her family when she's walking up there just like, please don't fuck this up. Please don't fuck this. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. So, the Disney World Jungle Cruise boat sinks with passengers on board in mid-ride mishap. So, it was on the uh, Jungle Cruise ride at the Orlando theme park. Uh, and it just basically started sinking. Mid-ride. <laughs> you know, you the, know? the water in the boat was up to like a foot and a half. Nobody died. But I can just like see, you know, oh, we just spent like... So much money on all these tickets and waited in line for hours to go on this stupid ass ride. And it's like, oh, I'm so glad I got my brand new shoes on and going on this ride. What could happen? Uh oh. Just like up to your ankles. You're like, so that sucks. Walt Disney just can't do anything right. And then I was reading there was another story where like the gondolas that go across the park like got stuck for hours. <laughs> like people on them. And I'm just like, if I had to pee, I'd just unzip yeah, and I'd be like, yo, thinking. look out below. I'd just be like, yo, for real. I'm not waiting. Yes. I mean, but I'd probably be a little stage shy because there'd be somebody coming this way. I'd be like, don't look at my wiener. <laughs> you know, but I would definitely pee right off of that thing. So Disney World can't get its shit together, which is always nice to see. And all I can think of is like <laughs> how it could get any worse is like if you're on, if you're on that gondola. And you just hear from behind you, chicken! And you're like, ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. And she just starts talking and won't stop. Um, so that's, uh, that's, some, that's some fun news there. Games. What if you were afraid of gondolas and like they convinced you to go on the gondola and like that was the first time you ever went on it yeah. and it stuck? That would be my luck. I would be like, I'd be like, first of all, when we get out of here, I'm shooting my pants. Oh, nope, done that already. <laughs> no, that's done. My second order of business is I'm going to beat the daylights out of you for convincing me to go on this thing. Um, uh, can we talk GameStop for a second? Of course again. Okay. Course. How about how about Project Legacy Delete? So we we Scary obviously shit. know somebody who is like. Probably both of the conditions met. So what what Legacy Project Delete is, guys, and this is of course from the man himself, Camelot three three one. I'm out of Alabama. Bye. Yeah. Uh, we love Cam. He's the man. Uh, but so he has a he has a, a, a contact in Cor GameStop Corporate that actually currently works for GameStop Corporate. And uh, long story short, uh, basically. GameStop is going to be instituting this program called Project Legacy Delete. And what it is, is the they're going to, anybody that has been with the company more than, I think it's five years, and makes more than 16 an hour, 16 or better an hour, they're going to go through their files for like as far back as they can go and try to get them fired for any any kind of infraction or anything they can yep. find to get them rid of, which typically is time card fraud. Um, but I think it is just absolutely, that is the worst. I mean, the ship is going down, and unfortunately the people that we know that work at GameStop, we really can't talk to about this because, A, there are repercussions, obviously, for anybody in the company talking about Camelot at all. Um, and second, they just wouldn't tell us if things were going bad, probably because they don't know. Because GameStop, again, going back to when you worked there, and I was telling you stuff that I was seeing off of Camelot that you had no idea was was in the works and going down. Yeah, I know cool down a lot of it. <laughs> that was sort of SpongeBob, where SpongeBob and Patrick are standing in McKinney Bottom, and, like, it's all on fire, and they're just like, we saved the town! Like, that's kind of how I like, see it. Like, at corporate GameStop, it's all, like, on fire and shit, and they're just like, ah, no, it's... It's all fine. Yeah, no, it's it's a that's definitely a sinking ship. But as soon as that place shuts down, I, I really hope that you you know who doesn't get nixed. But he meets both of those requirements. So 
district leaders getting fired all over the places. There's 20 just let go. Um, so GameStop is hurting, man. And especially, you know, what's funny is they were really banking on the next-gen systems to really pull them out of, I don't know what they're hoping for, but they're banking on these next-gen systems. Now, reports are that they might be delayed because of the mm-hmm. Kung Flu. So at GameStop is like, if that was their one, they literally put all their eggs in one GameStop basket. GameStop is on like, that. guys, no. GameStop is like, well, <laughs> shit. Let's yeah. see your cell phone. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Your... Did you know that I could give you five bucks for it today, cash money right now? Five bucks? Oh boy! And they're like, yeah, it's in store five credit. Bucks? It's like, oh, Sweet. oh, damn like, it. Yeah, except the um, the only problem is, is uh, we're gonna give it to you in uh, in store credit. It's like, oh, son of a bitch! I'm glad our GameStop hasn't been doing that. Yeah. But for how long? I mean, I haven't been in there for a while. But I don't know. Would you like to voice your opinion, Mike? Uh, I'm on what? What would you like me to voice my opinion on? GameStop. I don't have an opinion on GameStop. I think <laughs> it's an amazing company, and uh, I just like you guys. So I don't want to debate you. <laughs> it's just wow. No, oh. I mean I I respect that, but you know. All right, so there's a study that <laughs> heavy, <clears throat> heavy metal fans most likely to have a sexual encounter in a car. Yeah! Wait, wait what? Huh. Um, in, um, uh, the folks okay. at TickPick have conducted a study on music habits while in automobiles and have determined from their data that heavy metal fans are most likely of any genre to have a sexual experience in a car. According to the results of their survey, survey this is off of Lobwire, 75% of heavy metal listeners have experienced a sexual encounter in a vehicle, while 65% of all respondents also made that claim. In the survey, metal listeners ranked ahead of fans of oldies music, hip-hop, rap, and R&B slash soul. Well, so that's kind of interesting. I'm a virgin, so that's okay. That's, that is all right. Sexual escapades in vehicles. I feel like that wouldn't be too much fun. It's not convenient. <laughs> not convenient. <laughs> um, you gotta throw the parking brake on so you don't fucking rock that shit out of gear. And if you do, you know, it's just not, you know. Parking lot late at night. Is there a parking lot? There you go. Or how about like greasy back alley? Yeah, right. <laughs> or just like going to Grand Theft Auto. Just go into a uh, into like a Metro mattress or something, and just like <laughs> you know, I, all I can see is like the dude just sitting there. Nobody's in the store, and all of a sudden, boom! Like two, you know, amorous you know people come in and they're fucking making out hardcore, and they just drop down on a bed and start fucking going at it right there. Just like no, <laughs> no nothing, and the guys just sitting there like, <clears throat> all right. This kind of, I have more because it, Google reloaded itself. This kind of ties back to the, uh, the dog with the kung flu and stuff. China is urging people, there, uh, there is a ban actually on eating cats and dogs because of the virus. <laughs> I almost made the joke earlier, but I was like, that's a little insensitive. But if Google said it, I mean, it is a fact. They eat cats and dogs over there. Different culture. <coughs> That's the way she goes. <coughs> and then another one. Um, it didn't it didn't say what state. It, a man found a box of yeah puppies that turned out to be bears. Don't know how you can confuse it to. I, I, I want to know where the box of bears came from. Like if there was some embarrassed teenaged mom bear that just gave birth to a litter of bears and she's like, oh no, my dad's going to kill me. Puts them in a box behind a Dunkin' Donuts and it's just like, oh. Looks looks back forlorn over its shoulder as it's leaving, sheds a single bear tear and then goes home and... (laughs) Good God. I don't know. That just got super depressing. (laughs) Really depressing. That poor bear. Holy shit. Um, And what do you do with them? Like, here's a, here's a box of bears. <laughs> I just want to know, like, the dude who discovered this shit, like, 
How did he not realize that it was not puppies? Like, I mean, there's a very distinct difference between bears and puppies. That's true. I don't know. I, I couldn't <laughs> tell you that one. Again, my curiosity just lays more as to the where they came from. But I mean, I know where they came from, but how they ended up in the box. Well, when a daddy bear and a mama bear love each other very much, uh-huh. they'll uh, spend an evening together. And Doing then, what? Doing stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like Monopoly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then, man. And then Except they play the full... And then they deliver the bear. But they don't... Wait, but the bears don't eat the stork. No. No. Nature's confusing. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, I don't know. Not a whole hell of a lot news wise to talk about. Again, we were talking about that earlier. Kind of a slow news week, or nothing yeah, very really interesting. interesting. Like the outcome was I lost uh, quite a bit of money in the uh, stock market this week. Did you on Johnson and Johnson? No, on all my stocks because of the coronavirus. I lost about five hundred bucks. Whoa! Ooh, that's not good. It's pretty sick. So. As soon as that uh, goes up, I'm going to probably just pull out. Hopefully I can break even at least. That's what she said. Or he said. Yeah, that's what he said, but then as he was attempting to, it didn't do Yeah, that shit leaks, bro. You know, you can pull out, but that shit leaks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is going to be a short podcast by the time I'm done editing this thing. <laughs> Oh, I ordered the Death Nut Challenge 2.0. I know I was telling you guys that. But yeah, when, the of which, when are you doing that? As soon as it comes in. Um, I also want, because there might be a collab video on it with me and uh, my buddy Tim. Because I was talking to Tim and I was like, because he, he sent me the link. And my theory with that is, like, for anybody that sends me a thing like that, I'm like, well, if you want me to eat it, buy it. And I'll eat it on the channel. Like, it's super easy like that. And then, so, with the gummy bear, because that, that was my deal with Lou. I was like, dude, if you want me to eat it, buy this. So he hadn't bought it for me yet, so I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. And then I realized that <laughs> that I'm paying to feel this way. <laughs> I'm like, rather than just get, getting it gifted and being like, well, this will be something fun to do. I'm like, here's some of my hard-earned money. Now, please destroy my stomach. So, same it's deal. It was fun. Same deal, went and ordered, you know, Tim sent me the thing, and, uh, you know, I sent him the thing, I was like, yo, you buy it, I'll eat it, and, like, no reply and stuff, so I'm like, order, I bought it, and I told him, I was like, dude, you should get one too, and we can just eat it together and, like, do a, you know, a collaborative video, so he seems like he might be down with that, but if he, I told him to let me know as soon as possible, um, because if he's not going to, I'm just going to do it as soon as I get him, and then that should be very interesting, uh, cause these are like way hotter than the gummy bear. <laughs> At least the last one is. They like legit has capsation crystals on it. So it's like, I think it's like a thousand times hotter than a jalapeno. Oh my God. And the nice. gummy bear was, I think 900 times hotter than a jalapeno. So it's hotter than the gummy bear will be. And there's four other levels of heat that you have to work up to, to get to that. So this is going to be a fairly, and I'm pretty sure you have to chew and eat them all, then wait again before the, you can drink anything. So this is going to be a very, very interesting. It was one. on uh, APS. Yeah, yeah. There was a bunch of yeah. There was a bunch yep. of ones that did it. Yeah, and I'm really late to the game on that, but look for that coming soon. I'm going to enjoy watching that. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. Those those seem to do pretty well. The spicy vids. Well, I mean, people are just like that. They like seeing other people hurt. They do. <laughs> And it's, you know, it's just neat and fun. It's something, you know, I don't know. So I'm excited for that, at least. That, that'll that be fun. Mike, what's going on in your world, man? You're super okay. quiet. I just uh, was thinking, just do an eating video of one of the five-pound gummy bears. See how far you can get into that. Oh, my God, one of those, like, big-ass ones? Yeah. The one that is, in fact, five pounds. That's a lot of gummy. It is. That's an awful lot of gummy. I'd be, uh, I'd have like diabetes before I was like done the ears. Make it a little interesting. Pick a time window. If you do it, maybe you win a prize. 
I would give myself a prize for eating five pounds of gummy bears. I would, I would, I would. Oh, there would be Wait, a prize. There's a I prize. I'd be the one supplying the prize. Oh, oh shit. Would, okay, all right. You would have to be. You would have to eat the entire thing within the time frame. Okay. The time frame. I, I, that's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of something fair, but. We'll work on that. Let's let's discuss that further, yeah. and we'll, we'll get to that. I, I'm on my head to do it too. Spence actually. <laughs> I'm just more excited for the prize. <laughs> The video. I'm excited for both. Um, uh, but Spence also had a really cool video idea that would be like, um, so basically it would be kind of like a blind trust exercise. And it would be like one person would be blindfolded and the other person would be trying to describe to them how to build a Lego set. Like, through just the blindfold, the person will be putting it together, and then you have the other person trying to tell you how to do it. And if you can do it, and, like, you get, like, a prize. So you just have to feel around for the pieces? Yeah, but you also have to figure out how to put it together and, like, make it work and stuff. And you'd have to, that's why you'd have to have the person that is unblindfolded it to do that. Wait, what kind of gummy bear? Because if it's a white or, or a yellow, you can forget it. Cherry. Cherry? Oh, okay. I don't know. Half I don't, it's your challenge. I, I don't like I don't like cherry. Yeah, which um, you want. <coughs> or orange, I guess. Orange is a pretty good color. I would definitely attempt it. I would definitely attempt it. How much are those things? Oh, well, trick our good friends at about nineteen. Right. Oh yeah, that's probably where you get it from, huh? On gummy bear or a gummy worm? Holy shit! Bear. I feel I'd have more fun with the bear. Oh my god. It, you know, I, I'd be willing to do you that. 1,400 regular size gummy bears. <clears throat> Holy 1,400? Oh my god. You can get the three tone, which is raspberry, orange, and cherry. Or you can get a cherry, lemon, and apple. You can get a blue raspberry, a bubblegum, a cherry cola, a grape, a green apple. Ooh, a grape one? Want a oh, grape? Yeah. Man. How much are they? 30 bucks. Holy shit. Yeah, uh, you know what's funny? I found them for 26, so eat it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. All right, I mean, why don't you guys leave a comment down below? Should I attempt this challenge? Little secret. Regardless of what you say, I'm probably going to do it anyway. 6,200 calories. So, go so that's like breakfast for me then. <laughs> You'll actually gain about three pounds from eating that. Oh, my God. I don't think I can... Oh, man. Oh. oh, my God. I don't even know if my stomach can take five pounds of food. No, you will 100% throw up, which is part of the challenge. I will it's just how up. far down you can get it's in just... the time frame or if you don't finish it completely. Dude, what? Finish, if, if you're throwing it all up and then eating more of it, I don't care as long as you technically eat the entire thing. You know, the saddest part is, is I'm kind of so on board because I want to know what prize is. Because I want to make it, you know, it's a challenge. Yeah. I also want to make it not impossible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm in, man. I'm in. Uh, that's not a convincing. I'm. I'm. In. Well, I'm scared. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you at all. I'm scared, but it's a challenge, and I'm always up for challenging. And people seem to like the eating challenges. So, looks like there might be a five pound gummy bear challenge. Is it like? Would it be me versus tumbles? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm at this point. <laughs> all right, well, at any rate, you're all, you're, your boy Hefty's going to attempt this, I think. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I will, if, if you want, I, I will supply it if, you, if you're... I'll, 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 I'll attempt it, yes. Uh, you have my word here, and all you folks are watching this now, I will. So, I guess don't even bother. No, still leave a comment. Still leave a comment, because we like those. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it, man. I'll get down. <sighs> the, the, <laughs> and, Shut and, up, you. And if you don't finish it, you have to shave your eyebrows off. That's... Oh. I have to shave my eyebrows off? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, alright. I'm probably not going to do that. No How long do eyebrows take to grow back? <laughs> I can just draw some cool. on. I can just draw some in. Or like... Fat black sharpie. Yeah, just, just draw one. Like, <laughs> Bert. A Bert unibrows. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shave my eyebrows if I don't complete it. Nah, you don't have to do it. Well, I was mulling it over. I'm like, is it worth it? And I'm like thinking, I'm like... Four ah. to six months. What? For it eyebrows? takes for eyebrows to grow back. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably not going to be shaving my eyebrows then. 
I would think just throwing up on camera would be uh, enough. Um, I mean, I w- obviously would not be able to do it on camera. I would have to be like, we'll be right back and put some goofy like picture in there and I'll come back like, oh. And the only thing that you can drink is Sprite. A Sprite? Oh, dude, what? You get a two liter of Sprite, and it's the only thing you can drink while doing challenge. Okay. All right. What the hell? You only go around once, right? We will, in fact, guarantee that you will be throwing up okay. multiple times. Yeah, I'll be spidering, it sounds like, by <laughs> we'll, the time this is over. We'll be coming out of both mixes, ends. Gummies and Sprite, you're not supposed to mix too much because it creates a lot of acid in your stomach. So, well, it's like a guarantee. Mom. You just want to cause pain, don't you? Wow. I mean, he's making the challenge. I mean, <laughs> right, he is. I just fight. don't know if I like that he, That all these rules are being added after the fact. <laughs> like, it's uh, like, okay, but you also have to be stepping on razor blades while you're doing it. I'm like, wait, what? Why? I, I'm still holding on because of the... You have to be uh, upside down, too. I'm not sure if we covered that one. You have to be what the fuck? How, how are you going to get me upside down? Yeah, like a fucking, like, I don't even know. No, like, you have to do a handstand. I have to, I have to do a handstand? <laughs> yeah, that's part of the Come on, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> that's like balancing a whale on its tail. It's like, there's no way that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm uh, so yeah, well, out because of the prize. I don't know what it is. Well, you can't know what the prize is, right? I don't know if I think of a decent. It wouldn't be, yeah. I mean, if it's a ch- it wouldn't be, and that's that's when he said that he would be. I'm like, okay, Mike wouldn't get a shitty prize, so it'd be a prize that would be worth it. Because I'll tell you, if it was just like a sticker or something like that, I would pop you one right in your fucking nose, bro. I'd be like, Mike, I love you. Sorry, a fucking sticker. It says like I'm a winner or something it's like just that. Just a on t-shirt it. saying I ate a five pound gummy bear. But you got to get it two sizes too small, so it just says like I ate the gummy bear. <laughs> I am the gummy bear. bear. All right, well, challenge accepted. I'll I'll definitely do that. Oh my god, I'm so like I'm like, oh, is it worth it? Because the prize of the like that's horrible. Like I'm only hanging out because I don't know what the prize is gonna be. Is it gonna be worth doing the challenge? I don't know. I think if you beat it, just bragging rights alone. Yeah, that's the real prize. Is, is the, bragging rights. It's, it's like, I ate a five-pound gummy bear, bro. <laughs> Fucking didn't Beast try that? L.A. Beast? I'm going to have to go back and check. But I'm thinking I'm thinking he <sighs> did the five-bear gummy bear challenge, and if he can't do it, I'm going to be like, ma. I'm still going to give it my all, but I'm going to be like, yo, if Beast can't put that down. <sighs> Maybe Easy. I should divide it up. Like, you'll get uh, different tier rewards. For that's to funny to it's like here's a magazine subscription like, to highlights for kids what is that even still around here's an inspired coupon yeah <laughs> here's a here's a, a good for one free bike chain greasing <laughs> I don't have a bike um, yeah alright man I'll take it I will like I said I, I'm not sure that I will be able to complete the challenge, but I will definitely attempt the challenge. Oh my god, a five pound <laughs> Yep. Yeah. You should probably wait till summer so you can like do this outside. Yeah, because nothing screams I'm going to be a hot, sticky mess like eating a five pound gummy bear outside in the summer. Oh, well, wait for like spring or something. You know, wait till it gets a little nicer out because you're going to be vomiting unless you want to just do that no, I don't in a do garbage that. bag right in your room. Then. I mean, I could just like grab Tui's pillow and just be like warf! <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to just be projected like if we were at a park. Can you imagine that? It's like some family's like, oh, it's a beautiful day. Wow, look at the size of that gummy bear. Wow. It's like, mommy, there's so much that is coming from. Look away, kids. Look away. God, I'm so like, I'm like... The be- literally, this is literally what's holding back. I'm like, prize, is it worth this? Well, if, if I mean, <sighs> here's the deal. If it was, if if it was, it would turn into a competition between you and me. And at that point, it would probably be whoever gets further down, right, or who completes it. Uh, well, uh, it would be whoever completed it first, I guess, or whoever got most further down. Further down. In the time window. <sighs> yeah. I also, at some point, I want to do, like, a really dumb eating challenge that's, like, something super easy, like the two cheeseburger challenge. I'm like, I'm going to try to eat two cheeseburgers, guys. <laughs> then you finish the first and one. And and yeah, one this is, y'all. 
<laughs> Second one, yeah. Like, I win. <laughs> you got like ketchup and mustard everywhere. <laughs> it's like just pieces of fucking bread. I love it. Eating challenges are fun. Stuff like that. I, lo- I like eating, obviously. And challenges are like, hey, I've been doing good, pretty good at the ones that I've done. I did the Chaco Challenge. I did the gummy bear challenge. I did the last dab. Them spicy noodles. And it was funny. It all started with the noodles. And I remember when I ate those noodles, I thought that was the hottest shit I'd ever eaten. I've come so far. <laughs> My stomach is like, fuck you! I'm like, fair enough. You've, you've earned that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I wanted this gummy bear challenge, but, like, I don't know, man. We'll go over more details. Yeah, we'll we'll work. We'll we'll hammer all this out. But keep keep an eye out for that, guys. There'll definitely be a uh, there'll definitely be a, a video up and, and more announcements the closer that comes. <coughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not sure if "fun"'s the word I'd use for it. What you don't have fun puking your brains out and then fucking shitting like you fucking just drank a bottle of Epicac and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> whaps, whaps. You might as well just do no, it in the I shower. Think, I think it's gonna have the opposite effect. I think uh, you're just gonna get super constipated. That could be too. Oh god! I would, where do you think gummy worms come from? <laughs> People that attempt this challenge and they just boop right out. <laughs> then they package them and sell them to you, and then you eat them again. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Where where did you? I mean, I love it. Uh, I think that's a really great idea. Um. But yeah, the Death Note one I'm excited for. Um. I'm trying to think if there's any other crazy cool videos I got coming up. Uh, there's definitely going to be a South Carolina trip that's coming up. Uh, Tui and I are going in April, so look for that sometime in March, because that's going to take me a little bit to uh, edit there's, together. There's the uh, single chip. Or May, I should say. The, yeah, the packy one. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to do that. I actually have a story behind that. Johnny hit me up one day, and he's like, bro, you ever heard of these? And, he had, and it was the packy one chip, and they're, they're perpetually out. And if you look for them on eBay or Amazon, they go for like 100 bucks, 200 bucks for a chip, and I'm like, mm, No. So John had found this guy that was selling them for I think like five bucks a pop on Facebook Marketplace, and John was gonna get like a, a few of them. And I was like, dude, I was like, I'll buy one off you. I was just like, yeah, no problem. So he goes to contact the guy, and apparently the guy had sold them. And by that point, I was like, oh. so that's one I really want to do is the packing one chip challenge. Um, and I always keep hoping that um, the companies that see me do the hot, if they even watch me do the hot one, the hot stuff because I always tag the companies in the description or in the hyperlinks and stuff hoping that they just send me something for free that I can eat and be in pain for um, but I, I won't hold my breath um, but if there is anybody out there that would like to donate anything hot for me to eat um, oh yeah, I could donate something okay what are you going to donate is that work we have uh, scorpion pepper we have scorpion pepper cheese and ghost pepper cheese. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Is of Highland. Holy shit. Well, I can imagine. <laughs> should be like, that should be one of the challenges. You have to eat a whole brick of ghost pepper <laughs> cheese. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we add some butter on this. <laughs> Oh, kill me. I love my heart. It's like, oh, how many challenges do you think I got left in me? And I'm like, we'll find out, won't we? Like, I'm doing the uh, the 10,000 chicken wing challenge one day, and I just like, that's it. My heart literally jumps out of my chest and is like, fuck this. I am out. I quit. You're on your own, fat boy. Be like, wow. Well, it took long enough. You know, I almost want to do this gummy bear challenge. I, well, like... I don't know. I want to go to a, a I want to go to a um, smash room. I definitely want to go to one of those places where you just like pay a bunch of money and you just break <laughs> shit. They have one in uh, Troy. Oh, we were talking about that, right? Yeah. Right. We, were, we made the joke about the lamp post. 
Yep. You just pick up the like the parking meter. The parking meter. You're like, oh, guys, look, a break room. Pick up the parking meter and throw it through the front window. And you're like, dude, we're not in there yet. <laughs> in Troy, yeah, I might. I might. I actually kind of want to do that. Would that be something you'd want to do, Mike? Absolutely. We'll, we'll all go down and do like, a trip. Yeah. We'll do like a video on it. We'll go down and we'll film and fucking yeah, breaking shit. It. All right, we'll have to look okay. into this and how much it costs. But so I oh, guess being a look for that was funny. So look for that coming up. I guess it's like half TV versus. It's like, it's like eighty bucks a person. It's eighty bucks a person. Yo, what? It's fucking expensive to do that. To break shit. Yeah. Because they, they pay. I can do it for free. Yeah. Wash. <laughs> oh my stuff, damn it! I can throw a fucking parking meter through my window if I wanted to. Eighty bucks a person. How long do you get? Week. Yeah, you like that, don't you? There's one, mecha- there's one in Mechanicville. There's one in Mechanicville? Yeah. That's probably closer, isn't it? Than going all the way to Troy, yeah. Dude, I would literally just be punching a wall. They were like, sir, you can't, like, sir, you can't punch care. the wall. <laughs> your knuckles are broken and sticking through the... Your bones there's look like, like Wolverine blood calls. Blood yeah. the wall. It's like, ah! <laughs> Your knuckles are like just ground beef, like fucking hamburger. <laughs> I will have to do something. <laughs> Nick, what would you like to break, sir? Uh, I bought my own stuff, thank you. <laughs> All right, so it's got a bunch of different packages. Uh, 35 bucks for one person. You get one bucket of breakables and one medium item. And then it's Whoa. like 50. Whoa. You get two buckets of breakable items, two medium items, then 75. You get two buckets, two medium items, a large item. So, it's all just based on how much shit you want to break. Oh, man. I want to break a lot of shit. I'm just going to drop like 300 bucks and do all of them. It's just like, just keep it coming. <laughs> keep this shit coming. Oh, so you can, <clears throat> um, you can do one of the bundles and then it's just an additional 20 bucks for another person. Okay, so somebody pays the 75 and then it's 2 bucks for an additional person. Twenty, It's 20 bucks to, for each person addition, uh, added to that. That's not so, eighty ninety five. So, we're looking at about 115 bucks if we do the 75 one, right? Yeah, if you do that one, and then um, the, the amount of items and stuff that you get stays the same. So That's pretty cool. So, it's just, so mm-hmm. you're all working off of the same pool of items. Pool, yeah. That still sounds like it should be fun. What? Well, I see that look, and I know what that look means. What is running through your head right now? I want to go to a, to a uh, break room buckets, and punch shit. It's a five-gallon bucket filled with glassware, cups, bowls, plates, bottles. <laughs> the medium breakables are uh, small stereos, monitors, Ooh. Uh, 24-inch TVs, printers, <laughs> vacuums, uh, small bookcases. And then the large items, which is dope, chandeliers, Ooh. large TVs between 35 to 55 inches, Ooh. large computer towers, and household furniture. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> sounds furniture? nice. Furniture? Oh, my God. Dude, could you imagine if someone just, like, grabbed the soap? <laughs> Yo, I, like... I would love to be able to just bring your own stuff, like, stuff you don't need and don't want to throw out. You just bring with you to the room and you just be like, if you guys clean this up, I'm bringing my own stuff. I would send them an email and I'd be like, hey, if I came in and I was wearing a tactical glove, could I just bullshit shit myself? I was thinking about that. I was like, well, I'd just throw myself at the bookcase and be like, duh! <laughs> <laughs> just like, Leroy! Dude, like, a mo- like a mosh pit against it. Pretty good idea. It is, it is a good idea, idea right? Like I'm not sure about the whole filming thing. I don't know if we'll let you Yeah, because well, Boogie. well, Boogie did, but Boogie's also a larger... Ah, uh, influencer than I am. I mean, you could always ask, worst case scenarios, they say no. Oh, well, what are they going to do? Or you can call and yeah, ask. Yeah, call and ask ahead of time, and there you go. Yeah, that's actually not a... I almost feel like calling them right now, asking them. Just get a GoPro. Just yeah. Attach to your head for the break room. Do a nice little POV. I could do that. But I have to spend even more <clears throat> money. What's, what's the... Uh, what, how, I, mean, I want to call this company and ask them. <clears throat> The relief room. They don't even call it break room. They call it the relief room. I have one of those. Yeah, I have two of those. Uh, yeah, I have two of those. I have two of those as well. Nice. Three, if you include here. Wait, what? It's a joke. It was like, you know, relief. Oh. <laughs> so we can figure that out. We'll go into more details about that. Yeah, we'll figure that out. And it's by appointment only. <clears throat> yeah. I heard them say. Well, so obviously. 
They don't accept walk-ins. It's like, I had a shitty day at work. I want to go break some shit. All right, you got money? Yep, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I was, sitting, um, I was sitting on the sofa, and Odin was right next to me. And I look at Odin, and I just, I'm just like... Not today, Odie. And then he forced them, just like, we're gonna take <laughs> care of your ass. Oh, man. <laughs> it was much funnier than that. Oh, I bet it was. Yeah, no, I bet. <laughs> he is a fart box, dude. He really is. He's quite terrifying. He is. I want to oh, do a break and just break stuff. Shagabra! <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> This podcast is going to be six minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a shitload of fun. It sounds like we got a couple good ideas coming out. Some stuff. So I'm going to do the McDonald's idea. Oh yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. I still want to do that. We'll definitely do that. Wait, I, I don't run that down by me again. So we go into McDonald's basically, and like, there's a plant. There's somebody that has a camera already, like Mike or something. And we go in and we, you know, order like a Big Mac, right? Uh-huh. And be like, oh, this is to go. And then you get your food and then you open the Big Mac, take the Big Mac and like stuff it in your pocket <laughs> and pat it real quick and just walk out. Yo, it's so we did. Let's do it. <laughs> so great. They'd be like, you got a fork. Whichever one you want me to do, I'll do it. Or like the, or you, or like I can get a freaking, I'll get a like a cheeseburger or something and do it. You can get like a, one of those, like a parfait or something or an ice cream and just... You guys have any yeah, sauce back there? And then just open up your pot. Yeah, and dump <laughs> it in. Yeah, and then <laughs> sprinkle the nuts on top just like that. <laughs> so that's going to be a fun one to do. Uh, do you guys oh. have any sauce back there? No, we just, no, no, I, I, hold on a second. <laughs> the only thing we got to figure out is transport. Like, cause I'm just thinking, I'm like, I'm not fucking sitting in my car. Nobody's sitting in my car after they got, like, ice cream. You just gotta put some towels down. Towels down, or, like, I figure garbage bags or something like that. Yeah, gar- yeah just wrap your seats in garbage bags. Oh. That. <laughs> Dude, we can <laughs> potentially do that with the three people. I mean, some one of us could be in there with the camera. I'd yeah. have to be either you or me, because I don't drive. <clears throat> and then, as soon as... As soon as, like, Hefty or you finish, I'm assuming it's going to be Hefty because I cannot see I'm Zone gonna, like you're doing it. Gonna, He's going to be I'm the camera guy. Shit, yeah. So. I'll film it. <sighs> that sounds like yeah. so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, so we're totally going to do that. That's going to be another one coming up. I don't know, man. I really had nothing today. Neither did I. It's like the most disappointing podcast ever. It's not through anybody's fault, Mike. But, you know. made <laughs> this is nobody's fault, Mike. All right, well, I guess that's going to call it for the day because I really got nothing else, so. Oh, I can't wait to do a break room. The break room, the rec room it's is going to be, be fun. so much fun. The gummy bear is going to be fun. The death nut challenge is going to be painful and, and uh, fun somehow. And we'll, and that's fun just the, the tip pain. of the iceberg that we have coming for you fine folk. Um and again, if you guys dig what we're doing, uh, always appreciate it, but never necessary. Hit the subscribe button, like the videos, leave a comment. All that is super helpful. <clears throat> Post notification bell so you can tell when we upload stuff. Um, and unless anybody has anything else. I really don't. I just want to break stuff. <laughs> it's an angry young man. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and remember, go out there and do good things because no one else is going to. If everybody did one good thing for somebody else each day, this world wouldn't be such a bad place. Uh, on behalf of everybody at HefTV, thank you for watching. Mike is now directing air traffic, which is cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you guys next time on uh, on HefTV. Oh, shit. Did you break your culotta? Kind of. <laughs>